All right, I think that wraps it up. Yep, I'm never gonna financially recover from this. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are going on a very special toy hunt today. I think this is the first time ever on the channel we're actually doing this, but today we are not doing just any regular toy hunt. As you guys know, it is October, so we are doing things a little bit differently today, man. We are going over to Target. I have one local Target store. That's all we're going to. We're going to one store, and we're going to see if we can clear out their horror action figure selection. So we're looking for all the horror action figures. Now, it's not just going to be if there's like a statue of Frankenstein, we're going to buy that, man. There's specific rules. I have laid out some rules here. You know, if I can get it cheaper on Amazon, we're not going to purchase it. If I already have the figure, I'm not going to purchase it. There are some different different rules in this in this specific toy hunt but we're trying to clear it out man i'm trying to add to the horror action figure collection now it's not only going to be NECA stuff you know it could be like some of the little statues or something like that we're going to cash in on that we're going to see what the total is we're going to just buy it all up and see what the hell we come back with you know there are again there are some different things that we're going to skip over now this isn't the buying everything at target challenge or anything like that like we've done with wwe action figures in the past but i do plan on buying quite a bit of stuff though man i, I like I, I do not look forward to spending the money man however it is October and it's time to dig deep, man. It's time to spend some money and, and, and do the damn thing. So with those things being said, man, I'll see you guys in the car. Let's head over to Target and let's see what the hell we can find for our horror action figures. All right, man, here we are at the first and only location. We're only hitting this Target, man. It's my local Target. It's the one and only. So let's go in there and find out what they got. I don't look forward to spending this money, but you know what, man? It's October, baby. Let's get it. God help us all. All right, man, here we go. Showtime. Walking into Target so I know what we got. All right, man, here we go, horror section. All right, man, we gotta clear this thing out with things that we do not have. Now we're not getting stuff that either A, I can get on Amazon really cheap, or B, things that I already have. So this pinhead, don't have it, we're grabbing it. Uh, pinhead again, pinhead again, pinhead again. Uh, who is this? Uh, we don't want Back to the Future, Brad. No Back to the Future. Pennywise, don't have it. See, other Pennywise don't have it. Uh, got it, got it. Beetlejuice, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take Beetlejuice. Gotta love some Beetlejuice. All right, looks like we got Reagan here. I'm gonna need this one. Um, I'm on the fence about Ash. I feel like you have to have Ash if you have Reagan, right? I mean, I just feel like that's necessary. Jesus, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna hate myself. I'm never gonna be able to recover from this. Okay, we got Michael in the house. We're gonna get Michael. Definitely grabbing Michael. Put him in there. And it looks like the last of these like toony ones is gonna be Freddy Krueger. So we're gonna go ahead and grab Freddy. And I think that's the last one, but I'm gonna make sure we'll go through here. Ash, Ash, Elf, the Creep. Ah, nah, I don't know. We already have Jason. I have Leatherface as well. We're going to need Leatherface to round out. I feel like I could probably make a few cuts. You could cut Reagan and Ash. But, I mean, I'm just trying to follow the rules of the hunt, you know? There's Leatherface. All right, so after the Tiny or the Toonie Terrors figures, we've already, we already have a lot of these things, and there's like an alarm going off, but we already have all of the Jason Voorhees figures, and some of these we can get cheaper on Amazon. We already have the Frankenstein. We have Leatherface. We have most of these already. Uh, Wolfman, I do believe, is cheaper on Amazon. I would love to have a huge Predator collection, but I'm not going to be buying all the Predator. I feel like those don't count. We're looking for horror franchises, really, so we're going to be skipping over those. No Spawn. Um, Bride of Frankenstein, I'll have to check on Amazon on that one, I'm not entirely sure here, but all these Halloween figures, Michael Myers back there, we already have, uh, Evil Dead, Ash right here, Freddy vs. Jason, we have all these, Creepshow is cheaper on Amazon, the Puppet Master, Puppet Master I don't know about, but this condition is terrible, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, we might be, uh, this is a, this is a maybe right now, I know we gotta get Sam or the Trick or Treat figure right here. This is, we're definitely getting this one. And then a lot of the stuff under here is either Predator or Ninja Turtles. There's like a ton of Ninja Turtles and Gremlin stuff. And I don't think I'm going to count the Gremlins either. And so all of this is just Ninja Turtles and Gremlins on this second row. At least it looks that way. Outside of that, we do have the Bride of Frankenstein here. Um, yes, I want the black and white version. We're going to get this one. And then, uh, what else? Okay, Puppet Master's on the fence about that one. I just don't, I don't know, man. Is it, is it, is it really worth the purchase? I don't know. But we gotta, gotta get Ash. I don't have the Ash yet. So we're gonna get Ash here from Evil Dead. And then we're also, we already have this Misfits figure, the black and white, the Ultimate Fiend. And 
We already have Freddy versus Jason, like we said. No Gremlins. Predator. I mean, I don't really see much else, man. It's all gargoyle. Okay, yeah. Okay. I don't have the Dracula, but the Dracula set, does that count? I don't know if that counts. But like the Frankenstein accessory set, definitely getting this one. Dracula set, I don't know. I'm still on the fence about that one. If I don't have the Dracula, why would you buy the set? I mean, it's still a badass coffin set, but I don't know, man. But I think that's pretty much it. I mean, we got three, nine, I mean, ah, Puppet Masters. You know what? I guess we're getting it. On second thought on the Puppet Master, they don't have the other two pack. So since they don't have both two packs, I'm going to leave it with zero of them. You know, I don't have really that much sentimental value to the characters anyway. And like, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, we're going to be skipping over that. All right, I think that wraps it up. Yep, I'm never gonna financially recover from this. All right, time to go check out with these bad boys. I'm not looking forward to this. Yeesh. You gotta get a coffee to lessen the blow of the $300 purchase shaking my head. Low-key feeling kind of physically ill since that purchase all of 30, 40 seconds ago. All right, man, we are back home after our horror action figure toy hunt, and we are here in the office, man. Office still slowly but surely getting set up. That's why you see stuff scattered everywhere. But let's dive into what the hell we found on our horror action figure hunt. First up, we did get the Trick or Treat NECA horror action figure right here of Sam. This is the Ultimate Sam, and this is a figure that I've never had before. I've never owned this figure before, but I do look forward to this. You get some really cool accessories in here, jack-o'-lanterns, different head sculpts, and things of that nature here. So this is a really fun one. Pretty good stuff going on here, man. I, I think this is maybe, I've, I think I've seen this at retail a few times before, but this is my first time actually purchasing it. And it's been on the list for a really long time to add to our horror action figure setups and our massive horror boxes so i'm excited to check this one off of our list another one that we got was the neca evil dead ultimate ash figure and this one is another one that's been on the list for a while here now he's not bloody or anything like that but this is one that i've wanted to add you get some really cool weapons in there shotgun axe chainsaw great stuff going on and i think it's a pretty solid figure you know the NECA figures aren't the greatest posable action figures but as far as details and display and things of that nature these things knock the hell out of the park so i'm looking forward to it you know again he's not bloody or anything but i think he gets the job done for now the next figure we got was the Bride of Frankenstein. Now, the reason that I did go with this version, the black and white version, is because I have the black and white Frankenstein. So I wanted, you know, the black and white Bride to go with my Frankenstein. So that just makes the most sense to me. They did have the other version there, but I, I wanted to keep mine matched with my Frankenstein. So no point in buying that one when I don't have the other Frankenstein to pair with it. But I'm excited about this one. You get some good cloth goods in here. Should be a fun one to add her together with our Frankenstein and our setups and things of that nature. Next up, we did get a ton of these Toonie Terror figures, and I think we've owned a couple of these in the past, but we do have the Reagan figure here from The Exorcist. Looks pretty damn good. I think this looks really awesome, I and mean, I'm glad that we got to buy a lot of these because they're just some really fun, like, little figures here. Here's Ash to pair with it, so we'll have our chainsaw, we'll have our pump shotgun. Looking pretty damn good, so there is Ash with our Reagan figure. We also picked up Freddy Krueger, you know, always gotta get the, you know, the horror icons in here. We got Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street. Another Toonie Terror figure that we got was the Beetlejuice one, which again, you know, I think it's beautiful. You know, very nostalgic for me personally. You got Beetlejuice in there. Really classic suit and stuff like that. I don't think they've made an Ultimate Beetlejuice. I'd love to see them do that one day, but we also have the Pennywise. Now, this is OG Tim Curry Pennywise, and he's looking pretty good there with his balloon. Pretty good, you know, likeness to the character and everything like that. I want to know how many damn series there are of these figures because uh, now that I've, you know, added up quite a collection here, I think we bought 10 of these in this video. I'd really like to see us uh, complete the collection. Like, why the hell not? Next up, we have another Pennywise. This is the 2017 remake here. You even got the, you know, the SS Georgie. You got Pennywise there. He, he's looking pretty good. He's even got his little signature balloon holding hand. So he's looking pretty good. You know, you can let me know. Are you team OG Pennywise or remake? 
like down in the comment section. We also got Pinhead here looking pretty good. Unique looking head sculpt and everything going on there. Pretty unique. Kind of a statue. I think they're all kind of statues, but he, I think he has the least amount of articulation that I've seen. Another one I'm excited about is the Leatherface figure. Looking pretty stacked right there. Pretty girthy too, man. He's got some heft to him. He's got a chainsaw accessory in there. Pretty cool, and I like the little cutout backgrounds they have in the back there. I don't think I'm going to be using them, but uh, there's certainly something to look at. And I think the last Toonie Terror figure we have is the Michael Myers with the bloody, you know, tear streams going down his face right there. And this is pretty good. I mean, I think this is supposed to be from Halloween 2. And yeah, there's the hospital scene right there walking through the door. And I think this is kind of, a, I don't know if it's exclusive, but it's kind of like a variant, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that. Maybe somebody can let me know. But there's the Michael Myers figure. And the last thing that I, we got, which I'm most excited for, has got to be the Frankenstein accessory set. Now, I did not get the Dracula because I don't have the Dracula figure, but the coffin does look sweet. But I am really excited to get this for our horror action figure setups. You know, we're going to put some screaming Seth Rollins, some screaming figures in there and make some really dope setups and things of that nature for, uh, you know, the month of October and everything like that. But this is our first horror video for the month of October is just doing, uh, just going crazy on these horror action figures, man. We're going to have a massive box or two. We're going to do the kitchen setup, the crazy setups that we do for the month of October and everything like that on the channel. But that is pretty much going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know what you think down below. Do you guys collect NECA horror figures or, you know, what your different, you know, styles are here? But uh, that is going to wrap this video up, man. A huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. If you guys are interested in that, click the link in the description below. But that is going to wrap up our horror action figure toy hunt here on the channel to start off the month of October. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. Thank <laughs> you.